Have you ever wondered how the Philippines, a country often in the line of typhoon fire, manages to withstand these powerful storms? Positioned in the Western Pacific Ocean, the Philippines is a tropical archipelago that bears the brunt of about 20 typhoons each year. Now you might be wondering, how does this nation survive such a battering from Mother Nature? The secret, my friends, lies in a silent protector, a natural barrier that stands tall and resolute against these fierce storms, the Sierra Madre mountain range. Spanning over 500 kilometers, this majestic mountain range runs along the eastern edge of Luzon, the largest and most populous island in the Philippines, often referred to as the backbone of Luzon. The Sierra Madre serves as the first line of defense against the devastating typhoons that roll in from the Pacific. It's a bit like a colossal shield absorbing the brunt of the typhoon's fury, and in doing so protecting the low-lying cities and towns nestled behind it. But it's not just about physical protection. The Sierra Madre also plays a crucial role in the country's ecological balance. Its lush forests are home to a diverse range of plant and animal species, some of which are found nowhere else in the world. And these forests don't just provide habitat, they also act as crucial carbon sinks, helping to mitigate the impacts of climate change. Yet, for all its strength and importance, the Sierra Madre is often overlooked its role in safeguarding the Philippines largely unrecognized. It stands silently, unflinching, shouldering the weight of the storms while asking for nothing in return. But how exactly does the Sierra Madre mountain range protect the country? How does it stand up to the sheer force of a typhoon? And what would happen if this silent protector were to be exploited or destroyed? These are questions that we'll delve into as we continue. So keep watching until the end for the answer. And before we move on, if you find this content interesting, don't forget to hit the subscribe and like buttons. Your support helps us to keep bringing you more amazing content. Keep wondering and stay tuned. Nature, in all its might and fury, can also be our greatest ally. Let's delve into the role of the Sierra Madre mountain range, often referred to as the Philippines' silent protector. This grand natural shield stretches across the eastern part of Luzon, the country's largest island. But what makes it so special? Well, it's all about location and elevation. Sierra Madre, being the longest mountain range in the country, acts as a natural barrier against the fierce typhoons sweeping in from the Pacific Ocean. As these storms barrel towards the land, they first encounter the towering heights of Sierra Madre. Imagine a colossal wall of wind and water colliding with an equally formidable wall of rock and forest. This clash of titans results in the typhoon losing a significant portion of its power. The mountain's high altitude and rugged terrain disrupt the storm's structure, causing it to lose speed and intensity. So, by the time the typhoon reaches the populated areas on the other side of the range, it's often much weaker than when it first made landfall. Take the example of the recent typhoon, Uwan. This formidable storm had the potential to wreak havoc across the Philippines. But thanks to our silent protector, the impact was far less severe than it could have been. Sierra Madre absorbed the brunt of Uwan's fury, lessening its destructive power and saving countless lives and homes in the process. Indeed, the power of nature is awe-inspiring. However, it's not just about the raw physical strength of these mountains. The rich biodiversity within the Sierra Madre also plays a crucial role. The dense forests act as a sponge, 
soaking up the rainwater and reducing the risk of floods downstream. But what would happen if we lose this natural defender? What chaos could ensue? As we explore the threats to Sierra Madre and the potential consequences of its exploitation, we'll uncover the answers to these questions. So, stay tuned and remember to hit that subscribe button for more amazing content. Keep wondering, because curiosity is the seed of knowledge. The Sierra Madre isn't just a silent protector, it's also a vulnerable one. As we marvel at the strength of this mountain range, let's not forget that it's under threat. The very same shield that guards the Philippines from nature's wrath is at risk from man-made hazards. One of the major threats to the Sierra Madre is deforestation. As you may know, trees play a significant role in the health and strength of a mountain range. They hold the soil together, preventing landslides and soil erosion. But what happens when these trees are cut down? The soil weakens, the integrity of the mountain range is compromised, and its ability to protect us from typhoons diminishes. Imagine a shield with holes in it. That's what we're looking at if deforestation continues. Mining is another significant threat to the Sierra Madre. Mining operations can cause landslides and flooding, and the removal of minerals can weaken the structure of the mountains. This doesn't just affect the Sierra Madre's ability to protect us from typhoons. It can also have devastating effects on local ecosystems and biodiversity. So, what are the potential consequences if the Sierra Madre is compromised, well, the results could be catastrophic. With a weakened mountain range, the Philippines could face more severe flooding and landslides during typhoons. This could lead to loss of life, destruction of homes, and significant economic damage. Beyond the immediate physical damage, there are long-term environmental consequences to consider loss of biodiversity, damage to ecosystems, and the contribution to climate change are all potential outcomes of compromising the Sierra Madre. This mountain range is not just a protector. It's a vital part of the country's environmental health. So what can we do? How can we ensure the preservation of this essential natural barrier? These are questions we should all be asking. As we move forward, we need to understand that the Sierra Madre is more than a geographical feature. It's a life-saving shield that needs our protection. Preserving the Sierra Madre isn't just a task for the government. It's a responsibility we all share. You see, this majestic mountain range, our silent protector, doesn't discriminate who it shields from deadly typhoons. It stands tall and firm for every one of us. So, how can we, as ordinary citizens, contribute to the preservation of Sierra Madre? Well, there are a multitude of ways, and they all start with awareness. Understanding the importance of this natural bulwark and the threats it faces is the first step towards its preservation. One crucial way is through supporting reforestation efforts. Trees are the lifeblood of any mountain range. They prevent erosion, maintain soil health, and act as a natural barrier against strong winds. By planting more trees or supporting organizations that do, we can help restore the Sierra Madre to its full strength. Another way is by advocating for responsible mining practices. Mining is one of the major threats Sierra Madre faces. It can cause deforestation, soil erosion, and loss of biodiversity. We can use our voices to raise awareness about these issues, lobby for stricter regulations, and promote sustainable practices. Moreover, we can help by promoting ecotourism. By visiting these areas responsibly, we not only contribute to local economies, but also help raise awareness about the importance of these natural wonders. Lastly, 
we can educate others, share the knowledge, spread the word. The more people who know about the importance of Sierra Madre and the threats it faces, the more allies we have in its preservation. Remember, every action, no matter how small, makes a difference. It's about time we give back to this silent protector that has been selflessly shielding us against the wrath of nature for centuries. Now, let's answer that question from earlier. How exactly does Sierra Madre protect the Philippines from typhoons? The answer to our question lies in the very essence of the Sierra Madre. Imagine a sturdy wall, standing tall and vigilant, protecting a city from the onslaught of a colossal wave. That's the role the Sierra Madre plays for the Philippines. This mountain range, stretching over 1,800 kilometers, acts as a natural shield, standing between the country and the Pacific Ocean. But how does this wall of mountains protect against typhoons? Picture a top spinning at full speed. This is our typhoon, a spinning mass of wind and rain. Now imagine placing a finger gently against the top. It wobbles, loses speed, and eventually topples. That's what the Sierra Madre does to typhoons. As the typhoon hits the mountain range, it's forced upwards, causing it to lose energy and moisture, the very things that fuel it. In essence, the Sierra Madre disrupts the structure of the typhoon, weakening it before it can reach the inner parts of the Philippines. But that's not all. The mountains also help to absorb the rainfall, reducing the risk of flooding in the lowlands. So the next time you hear about a typhoon losing strength as it crosses the Sierra Madre, remember this analogy. It's not just a geographical feature, it's a guardian, a silent protector, a natural fortress. But a fortress needs maintenance. It needs our care and protection too. Let's not forget that the Sierra Madre is a living, breathing ecosystem. It's home to countless species of flora and fauna. Its preservation is not just about typhoon protection. It's about biodiversity, it's about climate change, it's about our future. So there you have it, the silent but mighty protector of the Philippines. Remember, our actions today shape our tomorrow. So let's ensure the Sierra Madre continues to stand guard. Subscribe for more amazing content and keep wondering. Don't miss out on future explorations and discoveries. Hit subscribe and ring the bell to stay updated with our new content. Your journey of wonder continues with every video. Stay connected and engaged on social media. Continue the conversation, follow us. Thank you for being a part of the Have You Ever Wondered community. Keep wondering, keep discovering. Until next time.